Hi everyone, this is Krishna Vandalapu, a Business Applications MVP, Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will learn about what are fluent controls, what are various ways to leverage fluent controls in Power Apps, and the difference between the classic date picker control and fluent date picker control, along with their limitations. If you are visiting my channel for the first time, this is the best time to subscribe to my channel to get all future updates on Power Platform, tips and tricks to make efficient Power Apps. Without any further delay, let's move on to today's agenda. As per Microsoft Docs, Microsoft had released Fluent UI controls in Dataverse for Teams environment. What are the Fluent controls they have released? They have released Button, Checkbox, Combo, Date Picker, Label, Radio Group, Rating, Slider, Textbox, Toggle. Most of the controls which we use in regular Power Apps, they have also clearly explained what is the difference between a fluent UI control and a classic control. One of them we are going to discuss today is date picker. So in classic date picker control, we will say date picker control dot selected date, but in fluent control, we will say dot value. If we want to move the cursor focus to date picker we will set the tab index whereas here we will have to set accepts focus let us go on to dataverse for teams and see how those controls actually look like and then we will discuss about the approaches to get those controls onto power apps maker portal i logged on to dataverse for teams environment in dataverse for teams when you click on plus icon you will see all the popular controls which are frequently used as part of popular and then it also segregated the controls as per its category when you click on date picker you can see the date picker and when you click on that this is how a new date picker in dataverse for teams comes you see a, a small alignment issue here we will also see the same fluent date picker control in another place wherein we don't see this alignment issue another control i wanted to show here is button if you see the button this button is exactly same as what we use in the regular or classic power apps macro portal approach number one how i can get these fluent ui controls onto regular classic macro portal i moved on to regular classic macro portal and when i come on to plus to add the control when i click on date picker it is adding a regular date picker and there is no way I can enable or I can show those fluent controls as part of a regular Maker portal. Navigate to Dataverse for Teams environment, copy the controls with Control C and come on to the regular classic portal and say Control V. It brings those controls magically onto the regular Maker portal. This is approach number one to get the fluent controls as part of Maker portal. The second approach is come on to make.powerapps.com, select component libraries preview under apps, click on new component library, create a sample component library. As part of this component library, go to settings, upcoming feature, experimental, say control. You will be able to see modern controls. The time you click on modern controls to on you will also see something called classic controls if you want to see both modern and classic controls you can turn on on for this but for our demo i don't want to turn this on close this pop-up on top of a component click on plus icon now if you select date picker you will see the fluent date picker control rather than the classic date picker control though you go to input come here and say date picker it will add only the fluent date picker control because we have not enabled the classic controls all the controls in this component will render the fluent controls if you notice the text box also will come as a fluent control the border will be little different that is the significance for the fluent controls now how we can carry these controls to classic power apps maker portal is copy this control and come on to the regular 
macro portal and say control v here it is now i got the new fluent control from component library when you play this i can see a, a bit of misalignment here but when i play the same control here it is properly aligned let us understand the difference between three controls because this is copied from dataverse for teams this is copied from component library this is a classic date picker control when you notice the properties here i can change the display mode of my date picker to edit disabled or view let us go here i can as well see that property which is very 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 important property when we are doing that but along with that i see also allow text input on or off and show weak numbers when i say yes to that and when i play the control now i also see something called what is the number of the week when i go down the week number is keep on increasing and another option is show go today when i enable that it is showing me an option as go to today how does that work is when i am navigating here when i come here if i want to go back to today's date select that it automatically shows me the current date with a highlighted color but in case of the classic control i don't have a way to navigate back to my current day unless you open the calendar at the system tray also unless you click on okay in classic control the date will not be associated with the date picker control but whereas in fluent control the time i select the date it automatically assign the date to date picker control these two controls works exactly similar there is no difference what i see a difference is only the alignment issue when i copy the control from dataverse for teams whereas in this i don't see any alignment issue and the next one is here it is having a fill color of gray by default but it is not filled with any color when i add new labels to show the value selected as part of the date picker control now if i want to show from a fluent control again there is no difference between this control and this control now coming back to getting the value from the date picker control is date picker 1 underscore 1 dot value that is how i will get the date selected as part of the fluent control but whereas here in the classic control what i have to do date picker 1 dot selected date that is the difference number 1 the second difference is if i want to make my date picker control to be editable in classic i need to go to advanced say edit and is editable to be true that is the only time i can edit my control while i am playing the app say like but to the fluent control the property is allow text input to be true if i just say this as false it will not let me edit anything but if i say that property to true and play the app i can edit the control when i just say that it automatically takes the selection to that particular month for the date i have keyed in as part of my date picker control the difference number 3 when i play the app and key in krishna and come out it automatically reset because that is not a proper date which means the fluent control has auto date validation but here when i say krishna it doesn't reset the value on top of it it is not showing me any value because it is not the the selected date difference number 4 if i want to show the border color as red if the selected date is less than two days date which is my date validation but unfortunately in fluent controls there is no way i can set my border color but in 
classic control, I can change my border control like the way I want. But the work around for that is add a rectangle around it and make the rectangle border color as red and enable that rectangle if my selected date is less than today's date. See how it works now. There it is. This is the quick workaround, but the advantage what I am getting by using this fluent control is much beyond than me losing the border color property. Difference number five. If I don't want my user to navigate to this date picker by selecting on tab, I can disable this active focus to off. When I say active focus off, user will never be able to come onto this date picker by clicking on tab continuously. In classic control, whether you set the tab index or you don't set the tab index, user will be able to come onto this classic control with the help of tab. These are the differences and the advantages between the classic date picker control and fluent date picker control. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and learned what is a fluent control in Power Apps and how to create fluent controls in classic Power Apps Maker portal. Here is my contact information. I'm highly available on Twitter and LinkedIn. If you like the video, hit like, add your comments, subscribe to my YouTube channel for all future notifications. Have a nice day. Thank you.